to the pommel horse has a chance of a medal. His torso swinging in the same direction as his legs. So it almost uh, gives the impression of chasing himself around, but off he comes. Yes, yeah, just clipping them on the slight backswing, causing him to fall off on the other side. Takes a very strong gymnast to continue once they've touched that pommel horse. Just loses all the swing, all the momentum. Korobchinski was able to, but I don't think he hit them quite as hard as Lee did. And that has uh, damaged his chances of a top five finish. Comfortable dismount from Lee. Only an 8.8 though, and down to 7 he goes, with a total of 55.8. Evgeny Chabayev. And his parallel bars. Toss to handstand. Certainly got great form. Nothing was broken there in the double somersault. Toes together, knees together, one straight line. Very, very smooth routine. He's got lots in it, but he's continuing as if it was just a walk in the park for him. Finishing with a double pike. Tiny, tiny hop. That's an excellent Pibar's routine from Chabayev. And Ivankov scored a 9.525. I reckon Chebeyev's right up there with him. Certainly is. The routine not only had the difficulty, it had more than the difficulty required for this competition. I'm sure he'll do very well. Yes, that 9.55 is in fact the best score we've seen on parallel bars in the all-around. And up to fifth. And a look at Yuri Keki on high bar. Needs a big lift, he's only a small gymnast. Small in height, uh, big in muscle power. We've already seen one of his relief moves. See the coach standing in. One arm giants to Ginger. Tough combination, completed well. Looks perhaps a little hesitant on his swing tonight, not free, not very open, as I've seen him do before. Dismount coming up. Nice form through the air, a little hop on the landing of the double layout. No problems there. Just going for the simple dismount in comparison to what we've seen tonight. Just a straight double layout somersault. Finishing eighth, 9.35 on high bar. Total 55.762. Ivankov. Of Belarus wins it then 57.012 from Alexei Vorapayev of Russia 56.924 from the middle session of the day and Vitaly Cherbo with a strong last effort came up to take the silver medal so a uh, bronze medal so Belarus first and third Belenki fourth Chebayev fifth Korobchinsky sixth Lee Ju Hyung and Shupala at ninth Yes, the gold medal to the young gymnast from Belarus, Ivankov. And joining us is Bart Connor, the former US Olympic champion, world champion, I think champion in just about everything, <laughs> Bart. A wonderful competition last night, especially Vitaly Sherbo's performance after performing weekly, I suppose, can we say that? He had problems on, uh, on the rings and, and also on the parallel bars and then coming out on the floor and ending up with the bronze. Yeah, and when have you seen Vitaly Sherbo happy with a third place? He was so excited that he came back to perform so well after making a 
couple of mistakes. And I think he was glad, as we heard in the press conference, that his teammate Ivankov won the gold medal because uh, Ivankov's only 19, uh, a brilliant talent. He doesn't have the brash attitude that we see from Vitaly Sherbo, but uh, certainly all the as good of a champion as, uh, as the world deserves. I was asking Nadia earlier on, were you surprised to see the gold and silver medal winners coming from the afternoon session? We were surprised. In fact, uh, our show we're doing for the United States television, uh, we were basing a lot of our show on, you know, it's going to be the guys in the last session. That's generally how it works out. And uh, it was exciting to see that. And I think in, in a lot of ways it's a tribute to the judges because in many times the scores tend to be tight in the early rounds and they build towards the la later rounds of the competition. In this event, the judging was really consistent. And so the champions came out of the second session. They were the true champions regardless of what session they competed in. Just how hard is it for someone like Vitaly Sherbo, for instance, who won six gold medals at the Olympic Games, he's done everything that he could hope to do, how hard is it to keep the momentum going, uh, continuing on with more world championships? Well, you know, it's a very good point. Here he has a bucket load of world medals and Olympic medals, and uh, he's accomplished just about everything he can do in the sport. He's extending his career. He hopes to compete all the way through till 1996. But, you know, he's married. He has a young child. He's traveling all over the world trying to make a living at gymnastics, and he's no longer in that strict environment of the former Soviet training discipline that he was used to. So he's obviously a little less consistent than we've seen in the past. Well, Vitaly Sherbo has dominated in the area of men's gymnastics. Tonight, it was Shannon Miller from the United States who picked up the gold medal in the women's all-around. Let's join the national anthem, her very special moment. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand for the national anthem of the United States. Voyez-vous lever pour l'hymne national des États-Unis? Perhaps after the Olympics, when Shannon Miller walked away with two silver and three bronze medals, she may have felt a little disappointed, but gold Ladies medals in successive world championships in the all-around, which all perhaps we can equate to the decathlon in men's athletics, she really is an outstanding all-around gymnast. And Lavinia Milosevic pushed her all the way. And Kochetkova, the bronze medal. A wonderful all-around competition. Indeed it was. And Shannon Miller, gold medalist in the all-around. She's qualified for three of the four individual finals this weekend. Nadia, how do you see Shannon going? Can she get more gold? Uh, of course she can. Actually, we're going to see Shannon in the three events. Uh, two in the first day and uh, another one in the last day. And uh, she can pull a lot of great success from uh, the tomorrow and the day after tomorrow competition. The only one who qualified for the four apparatus was Lavinia Milosevic. We have uh, had a chance to see her on the four events and also a big chance for Dominic Doss, especially on the floor. She is the best one and she can win that. And I think after the disappointment for Dominique tonight on the vault, she'll be hoping to perform so well on the floor because I she's such a great tumbler, isn't she? Yes, that's right.
OK, Bart, moving to the men's finals. Yuri Keki, for instance, on the rings, he is so strong. He would have to go in as favourite? Yeah, certainly 